Hey guys, my name's Jack. Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I'm also an athlete for Great Britain. I'm currently paddling for British canoeing and I'm training for the Tokyo Paralympic Games selection, which is going to be happening next year. Myself and Lim Power, we've teamed up and we've created Adaptive Fitness Fun. This is going to be a Joe Wick style PE fun activity session, but it's adapted for you guys, the Amputee Juniors. But of course, everyone can get involved. We are going to go through about a 20 minute fun activity workout. We're going to start with a bit of a warm up. The exercises have been adapted so that everyone can get involved, no matter what your amputation level. Um, let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start by standing. We're going to go through four exercises. We're going to go for around roughly 30 seconds per exercise. I'm going to do those twice. And then I'm going to go onto the floor. Mobility stuff, warming up through the trunk. And then we're going to crack on with the main work. Let's see about the main workout before we start. Okay. Like I said, we're going for 30 seconds of the first exercise. The first one is just walking on the spot. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through it. Okay, so for 30 seconds, all we're going to do, opposite hand, opposite leg, walking on the spot. Try and drive that knee up as high as you can. So really bring that knee up as high as you can. Standing up nice and tall. Really kick that up. Nice and tall, find that balance. A couple more seconds of this, you start to feel your heart rate start to lift, your breathing rate start to get increased. Okay, next exercise. Feet together and apart. Side steps. Again, looking straight ahead, standing up nice. Make sure your feet touch and apart. Close. If your balance is off, we can really challenge it and really nice big steps to the side. A couple more seconds of this. Now we're going to walk for the upper body. We're going to do circles. Really going backwards, small circles to start with, just like this. Again, standing up nice and tall. Nice big circles. Just getting bigger and slightly faster. Slightly faster. We've got 15 seconds this way. Two, one, and then going forwards. So again, let's go forwards this time. Let's go a little bit faster, a little bit bigger with the circles. Start to feel it getting warm through the shoulders, warm through the chest, warm through the core. Last couple of seconds on this one, a little bit faster, a little bit bigger with the circles. Very nice. Okay, next exercise, gonna do a wood chop. Right hand down to your left foot and up to the top. The top, go across the body, nice big stretch, nice big stretch right up to the top. Go for 15 seconds on this side, and then we're going to swap to the right hand side. This time for me, I'm going to use my leg as a bit of balance, my hand is a bit of balance on my leg. Right, a left hand up, down to your right foot, and up to the top, right foot up to the top. So I'm going to use my hand as balance. Just go down as far as you feel comfortable. You don't have to go right to the floor if you don't want to. Just get that twist through the body. Nice bit of stretch through the back, right all the way up to the ceiling. Very nice, so now we're back up to the top. So walking on the spot again, this time, second time through, last time through, a little bit faster. Really get that knee up, opposite hand, opposite leg. Really get that knee up, really try and flip that. Just robot leg, kick that one up. A little bit faster. Last few seconds of this one. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Okay, last few seconds. Fast you can. Fast you can. Bit of a run. Bit of a run. Here we go. Come on. Very nice. And then side steps. Okay, together and apart. This is the last time we're going through this. Let's pick it up. You can hear my voice. My heart rate is starting to lift. My breathing rate has started to lift. This is all the elements of getting warm. You start to feel a bit hot and sweaty. You should feel your body waking up. Okay, let's go a bit faster. Last few seconds on this one. A little bit faster. How quick can you go? How quick can you go? How quick can you move those feet? There we go, nice. Really good. Okay, five more seconds of this one. Two, one, and relax there. Okay, straight into the arm circles this time. Going backwards. Let's go nice and big. Let's start fast. We're already warm. Let's go faster. 
and faster. Good. How big can you go? How fast can you go? Come on, how big? And change direction. The other way. Last time we're doing this, nice big circles. All the way around. In five seconds. And two, one, and relax. Really good. Okay, wood chop. Hand down and up. Nice big stretch. Find that balance. How quick can you do it whilst keeping your balance? All the way down. Nice. Excellent stuff. Well done. A couple more seconds this side. And then we swap. So this side for me, just have to be a bit more careful with my balance. But I'm really going to push that balance. And we're going to see how fast and fluid I can move. Oof. Last couple of seconds this side. And relax there. Good. Okay, we're going onto the floor. There's a couple of new exercises now. We're going to do something called crocodile arms. You put your knees together, lying on your hips. Bottom hand on the floor, top hand on top. Now this is the crocodile, okay? The top mouth of the crocodile goes all the way over. We're going to try and touch the floor behind you and back. All the way over and back. You're trying to keep your hips still, so you're not rolling with the hips as well. Keep them here, hips still. Open the arms up and back. We're going for eight of these. Let's go five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice, okay. We'll swap sides. Line onto the side. Same again. Line onto your hip, line onto your side. Bottom hand on the floor. Top hand on top. This is the crocodile arms. Ready? We're going all the way over. And back. Feel the stretch. All through your core, through your lower back. Three. Try and touch that floor behind you. Four, four more, five, six, seven, you can follow it with your head, and eight, excellent, okay, do you stay sat on the floor, this time, legs, slightly further apart, slightly further apart in a nice V shape like this, you can use your hands, sit up nice and tall, you're going to stretch for the back of the legs, you're going to walk your hands out, as far as you can go and then walk them back in same on the right walk them out as far as you can try and touch that foot and all the way back in same on the left all the way out as far as you can go all the way to your foot and back in so that's number one we'll do three more of these okay going out to the front let's go a little bit further this time how far can you reach and back in to the right back in to the left and back in okay two more let's go a little bit further bigger stretch and back in to the right back in you should notice just get a little bit further with your reach each time you're doing it last time through through the middle let's go far as you can how far forward can you lean and back in walk it in last time on the right let's go all the way over up. Last time on the left. And back in. Really nice. So what's my next exercise? Next exercise is a T bolt. What we're gonna go for, tuck the arm underneath, you bring the arm up and over like a teapot, and you're gonna try and touch those toes, looking up to the ceiling. Okay? We have the eight of these under, over, and lean. Under, over, and lean. Okay. Three, four, four more of these, under, five, can you touch those toes? Six, seven, one more, and eight, nice, okay, same on the left, hand goes under, arm goes over like a teapot, look up to the sky, try and touch your toes, and back through, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Oh. Okay, last exercise. Stay lying on the floor. This time what you're going to do is keep your hips down, 
hands by your shoulders, push yourself up as if you're on your arms and back down. Get your strength from the side, keep your hips on the ground, push yourself up and back down, okay? You can go for eight of these. As you start to feel warm, just increase the speed. Increase the speed, get a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Ah, very good. Whew. Okay. So we should feel nice and warm. We should feel nice and limber, nice and mobile. Now we're going to move on to the main part of the workout. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer on my phone. And each exercise is going to be for 30 seconds. We then have 15 seconds rest in between. Okay, we have eight exercises that we are going through. And we're going to go through these twice. Now, the first time I go through this, I'm going to show you the adapted version of all these exercises. Like I said, whatever your level of amputation, you can all do these ones. And then the second time is going to be with intensity. Because I know you know what the exercise is on the second time around. And we're going to see how many we can do in the 30 seconds. A little bit more of a challenge. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to press first exercise. It's called a wheelbarrow walkout. Okay? So, I'll explain. So, my time is going to go off. I can see it down in the corner. In three, two, one, your first exercise, walking those arms out and all the way back in. Okay, walking those arms out and all the way back in. If you're finding this easy, continue. I'll show you the adapted version. With this one, we can use a chair. We can put our arms and we can walk our legs out and walk our legs back in. Walk our legs out and walk our legs back in. You can see for me, this is slightly more challenging. But for some of you, that might be the better option. Okay, keep going in three, Two, one, rest that one there, very good. Next exercise is shooting star. We're gonna go nice and small, make ourselves as big as tall. Nice and small, and as big as possible. Okay, get ready in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Small to big, small to big. Keep that weight on both legs, bending your knees if you can, touch the floor, press up. So now if you want more of a challenge, let's jump. And jump. Press through both legs and jump. Last couple of seconds of this, big jump. Small as you can, high as you can. Shoot in, start. And relax there, very nice. Next exercise is boxing, shadow boxing. Okay, so feet grounded. Nice and balanced between your feet. And we're just gonna be punching. Gonna be punching in. Two, one, off you go. Okay, let's go 30 seconds. Pushing through your feet. Make sure you stay nice and balanced. Shadow boxing, shadow boxing. Feel that heart rate raise. A little bit of a burn for your arms, a little bit of a burn for your legs. Okay, last couple of seconds, let's pick it up. A little bit faster, how fast can you do this? How fast can you do this? You can do this seated, do this standing, do this bouncing on one leg. Keep it up, two, one, relax there. Okay, this one, star jump. What we're gonna do is we're gonna step out to the side and clap. Step to the other side and clap. Okay, in, two, one, we're going for 30 seconds. Step out to the side and touch, side and touch. And we're just gonna pick that pace up a little bit Pick it up a little bit, find that balance, standing up nice and tall. Feel it work for the shoulders, feel it work for the core, feel it work for the legs. Now if you want more of a challenge, just jump, and jump, and jump. Make sure you push it through both legs. Three, two, one. Woo, very good. Next one's called Toy Soldiers. Now you think how a toy soldier walks? Hands and foot, hand and foot. Now this one is challenging for balance for someone like myself. So bear with me on this one. Okay, here we go. Keep that foot up, hand, kick that foot up. Trying to stand up as tall as possible. Thinking about the balance when you're on your prosthetic side. Standing up as tall as possible. If you're finding this too easy, of course you can pick up the pace. 
trying to stand up as tall as possible. You can see how I'm collapsing on my right hand side. I want you to think about as tall as possible. Keep this one going. Ah, relax there, good. We're having a good workout, guys. Next exercise is something called squats. Now we're going to use this chair again. I'll show you sideways. All we're going to do is we'll sit onto the chair and we're going to stand back up. Okay, so here we go. Sit onto the chair and stand back up. Sit onto the chair and stand back up. If you use your arms, if you get stuck at the bottom, you can use your arms to help you up, or you can use your hand if you need to. If you're finding this one's challenging, you can use your hand to help yourself get back down. Of course, you could do this one-legged as well. If you really wanted more of a challenge, or if you've only got your one leg on, keep this one going. All the way down, all the way up. Very good, excellent stuff. Let's get this one out of the way. Okay, this one is challenging. It's called front to back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lie on the floor on our fronts. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna lie on the floor on our backs, okay? As many times as you can in 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds, lie on your front. Stand yourself back up as quick as you can. And lie yourself back down. Let's control. All the way up. Turn around. Lie on your front. Get yourself back up. Control without throwing yourself on the ground. Lie on the ground. Stand back up. Go around. We go again. We've got eight seconds left. Good. Let's get two more up, guys. Come on. One on the floor. Three, two, one. Okay. Next exercise. Definitely my favorite exercise. It's called the bum shuffle. All right. And what we're going to do, you just need the length of the garden or length of your living room. We're going to start by sitting on the floor. Two, one. Just going to push yourself back. As far as you can. As far as you can. And then back in. Push them with your arms. Drive them with your legs. As many times. 30 seconds. And then back in. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, and relax there. So that is round one done. Good stuff, guys. Well done. So we've got one more round of this. We've got another 30 seconds rest. So we've got a little bit longer at the end of the eight exercises. And we're going to do them, like I said, one more time. So this time I won't talk to you quite as much because I know you know the exercises, but I'll do them with you. And I'm going to count how many times I can do each exercise within the minute. It's a bit of a challenge for you, okay? So just to remind you, your first exercise is the wheelbarrow walkouts. Now, if you struggle with your arms, you can lean onto a chair, but I'm going to demonstrate in the full plank position. Okay, get ready in three, two, one, here we go. One, two, try and keep those legs nice and straight. Three, how many can you do? Four. All right, ready, push through your arms. Six, seven, four more seconds, we'll have one more, ah, eight, I've got eight on that one, so shooting star, remember this one, this is when you make yourself as small as possible, as big as possible, okay, with a bit of a jump, you fancy the challenge, how many can you do in 30 seconds, here we go, one, two, driving through both legs, Remember, you find the jumper challenge, just touching the floor and back up, touching the floor, back up as many as you can. Big jump, just 10 more seconds, guys, keep it up. Drive through that side, drive through that leg. Three, two, one. Woo! Probably the hardest exercise, that one, eh? Next one, toy, sho toy soldiers. Opposite hand, opposite leg, here we go. This is a little bit more control. This is about your balance and about symmetry. Here we go. Kicking that foot up. Kicking that foot up. Standing up nice and tall. Nice work, guys. Here we go. I find this one really challenging. I need to do more toy soldiers. Okay, 10 more seconds. Pick that pace up a little bit. Find that balance. Trust that leg. 
Taking that foot up, use that core, use those balance. Hey, excellent stuff. Squats, this is where we need the chair. Of course you can do this without the chair. So without the chair, it looks like this. You end up leaning forward a little bit more. So let's use the chair if we can. Squat yourself down and back up. And of course, if you can't do squats, you can just lean forwards. Use your hands here, lean forwards and back up. You're still gonna be using through your bum muscles and you through your legs. But if you can, squat down and up. Squat down and up. And again, pressing through the prosthetic side. Last couple of seconds, get one more in. Nice, excellent. We have two exercises left, guys. We're almost there. Front to back. I know you remember this one. Line on your front, standing up, line on your back. How many times in 30 seconds? Are we ready? One. Two. Three. One more. Eight. Ugh. Okay. Last exercise, we've got the bum shuffles, my favorite exercise of them all. So, sitting on the floor, remember to drive with your arms, push with your legs as far back as you can go. Okay, let's go. How many laps can you do? For those arms, get those arms working, get those legs working, fill it in the heart, fill it in the lungs. One more, five, three, two, one, ah. and rest. Ah. Hey, good work, very good stuff, guys. So, my lungs just about to go off one more time. There we go. End of the circuit. Adaptive fitness fun. You guys have been absolutely awesome. I know you've smashed it. This will be a weekly thing. We're going to look to release one to two videos per week for the next month or so. Uh, we'd really appreciate your feedback. This is for everyone to get involved in. And uh, yeah, keep smashing it, guys. Good stuff. Enjoy this beautiful weather while it lasts. Good stuff, guys.